In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we're going to take some supplemental steps in building a Ken Burns effect, the slow pan and zoom across a series of still images. What I'd like to do in this tutorial is add a little bit more than what we showed you in the previous one. We already have a group of slides and we slowly pan across one and then into the other. This is very good if you have narration and you want people to focus on the content while you talk over the video. What I'd like to do in this case is add a little bit of transitioning and titling. So I'll move to the beginning and we'll go to our transition room. That's the lightning bolt. Now in this case, I'm not going to pick any of the transitions. I'm going to use the third button from the left above the timeline, which says apply fading transition to all videos. But before I do that, I want to change my default. I move the mouse to the top and click on the gear, which gives me my preferences. I move to the second option, which is editing. And with that selected, I go, go to the transitions area. I'm going to drag across the number. Yours may be different than mine to start with, but I'm going to type in a period and then five for half a second and then press enter. So now my transitions will only be one half second long. I'm going to click on the OK button at the bottom. And now I click on this button above the timeline and it will add that transition. Let's do an overlap. And now I have a transition between each and every slide, but they're only half a second long. I find that longer gives me too much motion. So there's a simple example. It's just a little bit different than a sharp transition, but there's a little tiny bit of fade from one to the other in half a second. And so you see the difference there. What I'd like to do next is work on some titles. I'd like to add a title to each slide, have it the same font and style and effect in every single slide. So I go to my title room. I can click on the F7 key on the left side, and I'm going to take the text only subdivision and drag down my very generic default title, drop it in track number two. Now there's several things I want to change about this one, so I can press the F2 key or double click on it to get into the title designer. We're going to change the type name of the first one. We're going to call it Apple. And then we're going to change the size. Let's go 24. We'll change the font face. We'll make that a yellow. I'm going to click on a border and we'll give it a border, not of blue, but of black and click on OK and I'm okay with the size. I do want to change the font face though, so we'll click the down arrow, move way up in our selection options, they're alphabetical, and go to the Berlin Sands. Then we'll take the title, we'll move it to the lower left, put it right against our active screen marker, and now we have the title. I want to change one more thing. I'm going to click on the Effect tab on the left side, and we'll click on the Starting Effect by clicking the right diamond, and I'm going to start by fading it in. Again, these are alphabetical, so I drag down to my Fade and click on that, and now I have a Fade In. If I play it in the preview screen, we see it fades in. I think I might even want to have it fade in a little more slowly here. I'll drag it for a longer fade and click on OK. But before I click on OK, I want to save this to use it in each and every slide. So I'll click on Save As. We'll give it a name. We'll simply call it Test. And now I have a saved title, a customized title. I'll click on OK. And now when I play the first part, we see the apple fades in as we have our slow motion effect on our slide. What I want to do next is take that same particular slide, my test, drag it down and drop it at the beginning of each and every slide. I'll find here that it will show me that little blue mark, which is the beginning. So we'll take test, 
and drag it down repeatedly and I'll pause the video while we do that. The advantage of this method is that now all I need to do is click on each individual title. I can press the F2 key to get back into my title designer and I can change the name in each particular segment. Now these are overlapping so I need to move my time indicator to the right. I might call this one uh, pink and white and click on OK. Move to the third one, press the F2 key to get back into Title Designer, and move my playhead over so I can see what I'm editing here. And this is purple, so we just simply call this purple. Click on OK. And then we can continue with the rest of them. And so each one will be unique in name, but identical in style and as it fades in. So if we play the first few seconds, we see the apple fading in as we're doing our slow motion Ken Burns effect, then the pink and white for the second one, and then we have purple for the third one. And we'll end this little tutorial with an example of a clip using all of these together.